So I guess there's this new cinematic universe going on now, and it's called the RCEU. The Russell Crowe Exorcist Universe. Because I guess priests are his thing now. So The Exorcism is Russell Crowe's newest movie, and of course he plays a priest again. Like I said, I feel like this is his calling because you need a pre how to play a priest in a movie. Russell Crowe's your guy because he's old, fat, and done the role before. But only this time he actually doesn't play a real priest. He is an actor playing a priest for a movie that is totally not a ripoff of a classic that just reached its 50th anniversary even though it is, though they don't say it. If you saw the trailer like I did, of course you see that there's Russell Crowe going on a set, and of course crazy things start happening with an exorcism going on while they're making a movie about an exorcism, and you start probably had thoughts in your head like, wow, that doesn't look cheesy at all. But I mean, when I th that's what I was thinking, but I was still like, what the hell, I'll go see it. And when I did, I mean... I had to say that for the, for the first 45 minutes, I was surprised. I was entertained. The movie is directed by Joshua Miller. I actually had no idea who that was until after the movie when I looked him up, only to later find out that he is actually the son of Jason Miller, who was the one who played Father Karras in the original 1973 Exorcist. Hints more to the hint that that is the movie they are making in this movie. I will say this, Russell Crowe has some moments here, some very emotional moments where you're like, wow, I have not seen Russell Crowe that emotional in years. It's like, this is like old style Russell Crowe, like the Russell Crowe we used to know back from the early 2000s. But even though he had those moments, it wasn't really him that kept me entertained this movie. It was the one who was playing his daughter, who was played by Ryan Simpkins. Ryan Simpkins, of course, has had her moment in in the horror genre, if you guys have seen Fear Street on Netflix. But what I was watching, it, it was, the chemistry between her and Russell Crowe worked so well. It was like I was not even watching a supernatural horror at all, which is what this movie is supposed to be. I, it seems more like I was watching a psychological horror, which actually was far more entertaining to watch because I wasn't expecting this at all. It was more like watching... An, an actor who has been down for some time and seeing how he's struggling fighting his inner demons, his own demons inside himself, and how that affects the people around him, people he cares about. I mean, that was very, I mean, interesting in my opinion. And I feel like if the movie had stayed on that course, like the whole movie, then it would have been so so much better but of course like i said only the first 45 minutes of this movie kept me entertained after that it went into the usual cliche bullshit of exorcisms that we have been seeing for the past decade and then everything else just got flipped upside down when all that bullshit just started happening in the second half of the movie i just completely lost interest this is exactly how the watchers made me feel two weeks ago a movie that started strong had good momentum in the beginning but lost it in the most important part at the client max i mean i would rather see a movie that has a rocky start and but a solid ending because at least there it feels like although it took them some time to get their point across at least they got to the point at the very end instead of seeing a movie that has a strong start and then a bad ending because when you see that it just makes you feel like oh the movie started strong then it's like who cares if the movie started strong the end it sucked at the ending so it just pretty much makes the strong start pointless so i mean that's pretty much what this movie made me feel like. That strong start and that good moment I was entertained, completely pointless because the ending completely ruined the whole movie. Complete waste of time. The Exorcism gets a D here. It is definitely not worth it. All right, well, that just about wraps up this review. If you guys have seen The Exorcism, please comment here down below what your thoughts were on it. Also, if you like my other videos, please check out here more on my channel. And always remember to stay epic.